Hi everybody, it's Joey Young here. Welcome back to my channel for another painting tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to paint fire and flames. I'm going to be working on a 16 by 20 black painted canvas and I have the following colors here starting off with titanium white, cobalt blue, dioxazine violet, cadmium yellow, luminous red, luminous orange, and I'll be using one brush for painting flames and it's a number 10 angle brush. So I really like using these brushes for flames and you'll see why it's so easy to create flames using one of these brushes. If you guys are ready to learn how to paint fire and flames, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that I want to do is start coming in with some white. So I want to take a little bit of water on my brush. This will help me thin the white out a little bit and be able to create movement and a longer brush stroke. So it just helps release the acrylic out of the brush. Okay, so I'm going to load both sides of the brush and I'm going to start at the bottom where I want it to be the brightest and then I'm going to start just creating these swirls and then going in the opposite direction. So we'll go up like that and we'll turn, twist and let off. Again, more white, dab it in the water. You can create these little loops. And layer over. adding thicker areas towards the bottom and the base of the canvas. It's sort of like painting hair or water, movement and flow. And it's the same with fire and flames. So wiggle up then loop and then loop back down. Wiggle up, loop, and wiggle back down. And then I thin it out a little bit, and then we can come in and create the thinner, more transparent looking flames. So a little bit more water. I'm going to start to take some cadmium yellow with my white. I'm going to add it slightly over the thicker areas of white that we have down at the bottom. And just layer over a little bit of water. So make sure you're using enough white that you make the main biggest flames nice and bright. A little bit of water to help release the paint. Okay, I'm going to take some more white some yellow and a little bit of orange. And I'm going to start at the top. And 
and just work your way down towards the white flames. So I'm not making one color on the palette. I'm taking both colors and letting them kind of come out and release on to the canvas. So you can see you get extra lines and natural lighter and darker areas. It's kind of similar to one stroke painting. And I'll get really close to the white and add a few little scoops and outlines around it. You can slightly overlap too, but just make sure you don't lose that bright, bright white. I'm going to take some red now along with the orange. Again, not mixing it to make one solid color. I've got a little bit of each in here. And we're just going to start adding Sweeps and little scoops. You can take the red, the red, orange, and the yellow and add that all together on the brush. I'm just going to get a little bit more of my red. And I'm just rinsing my brush out so it's all clean now. It's just a little bit damp from rinsing it. And I'm going to start applying the red over top of part of the black. Pull in some yellow. A little bit of white in there. And I'm going to make some thicker flames. Come in with a little bit of white in here just to brighten that up. So you should really feel free with your brush strokes and create, as long as you have these loops and then they can get narrow, sweep, almost like little raindrops or a Y. You really can't go wrong. And then add a few thinner ones. OK, 
Okay, I'm going to take the rest of my red. And of course, I'm showing you how to add lots of color to your flames. We'll be adding a little bit of blue uh, flames as well, because I love that when you can see a bit of the blue. But some fires have minimal colors, so you would just use less depending on what kind of fire you want to paint use less or more of the colors I'm showing you today. I'm going to be a little bit more generous with my yellow now. Just going to go over a little bit more of the white. Okay, now what I want to do is add some of the blue flames, and I'm going to make a beautiful shade of more of a royal blue, a purpley blue, by taking purple and blue. See how pretty that is? And then all I'm going to do is just graze over the sides. You can add a little bit inside the white part of the flame too, but I'm going to go over that with a little bit of white just to soften, take a little bit of that out of there, and just leave a little hint of it. You can make lighter and darker shades of that purple. And I've got a few different tutorials on how to paint fire here on my channel. If you want to see how you can make like a campfire and have the logs and the setting with the sky and stars and all of that. I've got a few tutorials on my channel. I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video today. I hope you enjoyed it and learned a lot. And leave a comment below if you have a request and or a suggestion for a future painting tutorial. I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!